What's up, guys? I'm bringing on Be The Wellness. We're going to do a joint live tonight talking about the importance of creating pause and the power of creating pause for transformation. Um, if anybody saw my podcast episode with Anahata Ananda, who's a spiritual teacher out of Sedona, she talked a lot about how we love to get into the masculine energy of go, do, create, grow, you know, but if we don't create pause, the stillness, which is like our feminine energy, then we just start creating all wonky, right? So we're gonna talk about that tonight. I'm gonna pull in Be The Wellness. So if you haven't met them, you're in for a treat. So they're coming on right now. And we are doing a joint retreat together. What's up, guys? <laughs> Hello. This is you. Where are you guys? We're in our little downstairs meditation den. <laughs> Ooh, open Jackson Hole. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Dreamy, dreamy retreat location. <laughs> it's like so, such a vibe. You have to see this cool Tonka. Can you see it? Oh, wow. Super rad. Okay, guys. So tell them a little bit about you. I mean, I'll tell them a little, but also you, these guys are like the dream team for retreats <laughs> and holistic <laughs> wellness. You've been creating these like epic transformation experiences for over a decade now. And so I thought before, you know, obviously guys, where I partnered would be the wellness on retreats, which is like, so, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So we from newbie retreats to like super high level, awesome, incredible retreats. Like I bow down seriously. It's so <laughs> awesome how you guys do what you do. But you know, we're doing a retreat together in Maui, May 10th through 14th. Right. And so, but I was wondering if you guys could talk about over the years, like the power of getting out of your mundane everyday life. Oh. What have you seen happen in the last decade of your life and people's lives from just doing that? Yeah, it's so crazy. You know, we've literally seen everything you can imagine. Like, you know, somebody kind of cresting over the top of the of a peak at like 15,000 feet, like bursting into tears and suddenly realizing like their whole life has changed or or someone standing up on their first wave and surfing mm -hmm. their first wave and being like, oh my gosh, I didn't mm -hmm. drown. You know, like it's, it's every single category that you can think of where a human might have a roadblock or a barrier that just comes tumbling down. Yeah, and I, I'll add real quick and I'll get to Adam. Yeah. You know, just <laughs> at our, after our last retreat, um, there was a woman there who had a really incredible job. And on the last day, closing the closing ceremonies, I'm telling my story. She's like, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I was like, I got to get out of my job. And she's like, and I wrote down three requirements of like what I wanted in my new job. And then in that next week, it just came to her from, and this is a very, I won't, I don't want to like say, but it, this is a place that all of you guys know, yep. <laughs> everyone knows a very high level, incredible job just came right to her and she took yeah. it. Right. And she's, you know, she's like, I'm so glad I was there because who knows if I would have been in a space because she already had a really impressive job that she was very proud of, but kind of miserable in it, you yep. know? And so she's yep. like, I'm glad it provided the space for her to get opened up. You know, and do you guys see that a lot, like yeah. open up space for people to be able to shift in their lives? For sure. I mean, so much of, a, of I think, our lives and our work lives and just, I mean, everything, so much of everything in the world right now is about us um, kind of always being on and always being focused and always being achieving. And I mean, especially in the entrepreneur space and, and you know, with the, so all the social medias that we love so much. <laughs> they're demanding, you know, yeah. and it requires a constant focus that I think we can get used to really quickly. You know, we're used to that. And, and so we don't really even know necessarily how much we need a break. And so we really need something. Um, many of us, especially in this space are type A personalities. We're go, go, go. We need some kind of, some kind of permission to actually mm -hmm. stop and yeah. pause. And that's where, retreats i mean they just really create that i mean it's it's a retreat you know it's like you you're going away you're pulling away from you know the day to day and really getting a chance to focus on yourself and let somebody else be in charge let somebody else make the decisions trust that somebody else has got your sort of you know your your best intention at heart and go with the flow and when you do that you know then all of a the sudden there's this space you know mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. we talk about it all the time just even in meditation you're just trying to create a space between the thought and the action. You know, it's like, let's just identify that there's two different things that are there. 
And I, I think a retreat is just that on a macro level. It's like, let me create some space between me and my life and see what the hell's going on. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like getting a bird's eye view. And that just happened to me. I was just out in Hawaii last week. And it's just, it's crazy. It's like, to me, part of the reason I'm doing Hawaii is because I find Hawaii has that effect. And I know you lived on Maui for two years. I just found out, Vanessa, and I was yeah. like, my girl, that's what I wanted to do. But I got, yeah. I got kids that I can't do that. But, someday, <laughs> but someday. just being there for a week, like I find that Maui is like, it's, I should say, it's almost like mushrooms to me. It's like, yeah. it, it opens me up to help me see what I'm not seeing. Yeah. Right. So I had, to, I was like facing some really uncomfortable stuff while I was out there. I was like, mm -hmm. Oh wow. Like I could feel yeah. the ego resistance a little bit, but it was good for me, you know, and I'm still integrating that. I'm still processing that, but that's the effect that Hawaii has always had on me. Hey, can you speak to that? Why'd you say that? Why'd you stay in Maui for two years? Oh, well, so it's a funny story because I went out with some friends for a vacation. And when we were getting ready to get on the plane, I, I was in tears. I literally could not drag myself on the plane and I stayed, I just didn't go home and I stayed for two years and I was <laughs> like, I, I could not leave. And I think it speaks to what you're talking about with Maui. It's this special magic that just has something to teach you. And you just like to go there and to be in her energy field and to just really feel the, the frequency of what she has to impart is such a special gift, but it can be intimidating too, because it's like if you don't know the the lay of the land or you don't know like the the spots to go or you kind of like don't know how to like get into it it can kind of you can almost stay superficial with the islands mm -hmm. and i think that's why it's really important to go with people either that live there or have like you know real a uh, real understanding of the energy there because you're going to have a completely different experience of you know maybe just your kind of traditional mm -hmm. vacation right. where you pop up at the Hyatt and you stay there and drink yeah. Mai Tais all week, you know? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> Sorry, no, like, I, that's, it's just not for me. <laughs> totally, like there's nothing wrong with that, but there's such a deep experience in Maui to be experienced that it's like, if you can get those inroads into it, take that opportunity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, when I went to Maui, which I didn't even realize where we're staying is like right where I was, kind of, yeah. kind of close to Paia, Haiku, the mm -hmm. northern area. Yeah. And what happened to me was like, it, it felt like it rebalanced me into my feminine. I don't know how to explain yes. it. It's like I was too much in my masculine and it was just like, whoop. I was like this super pendulum swing, like, whoa. And it was, yeah. so healthy. it was like medicine for me, you know, and then we're going to that same area. And on, you know, I, if you guys have heard me talk about the retreat, like I have a, a, a unusual, I guess, with a familiarity with Hawaiian culture. My husband was Polynesian and most of our best friends were Hawaiian. I've, I've had a lot of Hawaiian friends and I've always been touched by Hawaiian, traditional, ancient Hawaiian culture, how they see life, how they see relationships, how they, how integrated they are with food and, and you know, even t taro and pulling, you know, um, and making poi. And can you talk about some of the stuff and the people that were pulling into the event on that note? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so cool because I think, like you said, I think what you're touching on is that just being in Hawaii, in Maui is, a, a spiritual experience yeah. so it's like you know it just being there you feel oh my heart is open I'm more in my feminine I'm more balanced like there's just there's a stabilizing effect that it has um mm -hmm. and then yeah we're gonna bring in some amazing you know people that understand the land understand the traditions you know you talked about pounding poi and like you know really understanding like what some of the ancient traditions were and how people related to the land and the water and and really like thought of Maui as their as part of their lineage, right? They're not separate from it. They're not like, oh, this is the land and we're the people. It's like we are part of one another. And it's it's very similar in New Zealand. Like if you've interacted with the Maori culture, like they think of the land as their ancestors. Like it's mm -hmm. it's part of their lineage. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what makes it so magnificent. And and we are gonna bring in some like traditional teachers to tap us into that spirit. Yeah, yes, but it's cool. It's it's a cool way to do, you know, the because like, like we were talking about the drinking the Mai Tais on the beach or whatever, like there's like a there's a thing you want to do sometimes in the tropics. Right. And so when it comes to Hawaii, sometimes you want to hula dance and you want to make lays and you want to do this stuff. But you can also do it in this way where you're bringing in 
real actual traditional makers of this stuff and people who can speak about why it's part of the culture and why it's part of the tradition. So not only are you getting, you know, all the great Instagram shots and everything that you'd expect <laughs> on a vacation, but you're getting this like super deep, yeah. real understanding of like why it's important and why it still exists, you know, why it persists as part of their culture. I think, you know, our experience of doing things like this all over the world is that frequently, you know, we'll, we'll get asked like, well, what can I expect to get out of this? Like, okay, I've been to this part of the world before or whatever. Like, what can I expect out of this? Like, what's the transformation that I'm, that I can expect? And, you know, it's really hard to describe because these places just provide a container for whatever you're bringing and whatever the rest of the retreat lets you work through. Mm -hmm. And and we just know that it's going to happen. Like, this is the thing. It's like, well, what can I expect? Like, well, you're going to, you know, it's like a same kind of thing that happens in a lot of the plant medicine world. It's like, you may not get what you want, but you're going to get what you need. You know, like <laughs> yeah. we're going to provide this really, really great atmosphere in this great container and the transformation is going to occur. And through that, you know, and all of the cool stuff that you're going to do with the lay making and the spear throwing and, the, you know, all of this very awesome, like traditional Hawaiian culture, uh, you're going to come out the other side and then you'll get it. You'll, you'll, you'll have gotten what you got and it's going to be different for every single person. And one of the things I think is so important about the way that, um, that, that we try to structure these retreats and that, you know, you've gotten the chance to experience is that it really is kind of a ceremony, you know, it's like we mm -hmm. open and we go through the experience and we close and you'll learn more. I do. I mean, even after, you know, 10, 11 years of doing this, I learned something from everyone at every, at the closing circle of every single one of our retreats, you know? So there's so much opportunity and you almost can't even describe it. It's like, you just have to go with it where you're like, Hawaii, Tara, this whole thing sounds yes. awesome. <laughs> I'm in, you know, because something's going to be amazing when it comes out of the other side. I have, so I know Hawaii is kind of a big ask because it's traveling a little further, right? I know yeah. that, I know that, but this whole thing has been so intuitively guided that mm -hmm. I, like so much magic has already, un, like it's like the red carpet of magic has like unrolled as we, mm -hmm. as we started planning this, that I yeah. know that whoever is there is going to get like an intuitive hit of I need to be there and they will be there. And yes. you know, we already have several spots sold and I know those people are supposed to be there. And I yeah. have to share this, I've, I've shared with you guys, but right after our last retreat in Zion, I went back down there that next weekend because I just wanted to get my kids all up in that energy. And I like two days before I went down there, my I was listening to a message on my on my car from a friend and he got interrupted not by YouTube music that I normally listen to. It got interrupted with a iTunes. I had bought is his song somewhere over the rainbow. Uh, like I don't listen to iTunes. Like it was the craziest thing. It just stopped <laughs> right in the middle of my friend's voice message and just started playing somewhere over the rainbow by is. And I yeah. started crying, like hard crying, like, Aww. like she, like bawling. Like it was so freaking strong. And it was like, go to Maui. Go to, and I texted you guys. I think I barely stopped crying. I'm like, well, said, we're going to Maui for this one. <laughs> you guys were like, okay. Well, and um, the crazy thing was that I had I had scouted that property like a, a couple of years yeah. ago, and I kind of dropped a pin on it, and I was like, oh, this property is amazing. Yeah. I want to do an event here, and I kind of just like had it in my back pocket. And when you said that, I was like, ooh. Okay. Well, yeah, because we kind of went back and forth with, between Big Island and Maui. Yeah. And you guys were actually like, you had plans, like a lot of plans. <laughs> Thank you yeah. <laughs> for Big Island. And then Vanessa, you intuitive little soul, <laughs> was like, hey, I know we just like laid out this whole entire plan for Big Island, but just throwing this out there, check out this place in Maui. And on that call, instantly I was like, Yep, that's it. Yeah, you're like, wait, are you, do you want to like think about it and like get back to yeah. us? No, no, this is it. This is it. This yeah. is it. This is yeah. it. This is it. There's but no doubt. Is. Like I knew. Like it felt like yeah, I had already been well. there. I was like, yeah. this is where I could. It's just annoying. You feel and, the frequency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, yeah. I've literally for years been like, one day we're gonna do an event there, and it's gonna be amazing. And I just was like saving a little space in my heart for it. I was like, I don't know what it's gonna be, but someday it, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be epic. It's cool as shit. It's like the yeah. dream, and I cannot wait. It's absolutely gorgeous. You guys, I put it's beautiful terragarrison.com slash retreat if you guys want to check it out. That's just gonna redirect to theirs, which I think is like be the wellness.com slash higher dash Maui. Yes was longer so i just put this yes, one yes. but um yeah and then guess what happened after my little cry sesh i get down to southern utah which is like four hours from where i live and an older hawaiian man who goes to my gym up here 
taps me on the arm four hours away at a different gym in Southern Utah. And he, I've never talked to him in my life. I'm, you know what I mean? I see him yeah. every, you know how you see people yeah, at the yeah. gym every day, but you, you don't talk to him. Yeah. And he's like, I just had to say something. Cause that's like, so crazy. What are you doing here? You know? <laughs> and I was like, what the heck? I was literally like posting about our last retreat when he like tapped on my arm. And so I just started talking. I'm like, might you be from what he wears like Hawaiian everything all yeah. the time. <laughs> Very totally. obviously got the accent, you know, and we start talking and turns out he used to bring groups to Hawaii for his entire, he worked for the state of Hawaii, like tourism and brought groups and taught them about how to connect to the land and ask permission. And, and he wrote us a chant, which I'm a little intimidated by, cause I don't know if you guys ever heard Hawaiians like chant, but I'm like, uh, <laughs> can we That's have somebody so there like help us with that? It's like <laughs> beautiful, but I've got it. And it's, he, he spent like a month writing this to help us ask permission to ask, ask the island to help heal and transform us while we're there. And I'm so grateful for that. And even when I was just in Hawaii, I was at my friend's fruit farm and um, his girlfriend is part Hawaiian. And she, you know, we went into his lava tube cave that he has under his land. And she, she did a chant like that, a, like a prayer kind of like a asking if it's okay, if we go in, it's just so beautiful, you know? And even in Kauai, I was listening on the little tour bus when I was going to Hyena State Park to go over to the Nepali coast. I was listening to the little thing and it they were talking about how basically before white people came, <laughs> They, yeah. they, there was no land ownership. There was no, they didn't have the concept of owning land, which makes sense. It's like your ancestors, like you honor it, like owning it feels very right. weird, you know? And I just, yeah. I just think it's so beautiful. And I just want us to come in humility and mm -hmm. learn and ask and just be like, like little children and just say, Hey, is it okay? If we like, would you mind teaching us? Like we're curious and thank you, you know? And then yes. on top of it, we've got our whole health focus, which is going to be so cool. So if you've ever been wanting me to like help you with biomechanics in person, we're, do we're doing all a biohacking buffet of all the cool different biohacks that you probably just like have heard of, but you're just not actually doing them. Um, we're going to talk about the mindset behind physical transformation, which I have found that like, if you're not getting there, it's because the way you're thinking it needs to go, it's like, you think it's this way. And it's like that way. It's a complete different like angle, you know, yeah. and until you get like an immersion of someone to show you that it's hard. Cause you're like, let me just keep trying this way harder right. and harder and harder. And it's like, doesn't work. Right. So I'm excited to roll all that out at the retreat too. And then we're surfing. And if you yes. too, if you're too scared to, see, Vanessa's got your back. She's like, some people might not want to surf, so you can paddleboard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you can hang like, on the beach, you but you should at least paddleboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys are like professional beyond professional, and I so appreciate it because you think of all of these little things. Like, nope, no, no, no. We don't want to overwhelm people. We want chill time. We want, you know, and it's just works like a um, and Maui's free. just such a special place to me. So yeah, it feels like you know, I, I to it's kind of like a second home. I feel the same way you do about it. It's just like, there's something about the spirit of Aloha, you know? And I think that people, they hear like the kitschy term, like Aloha or whatever, but it's a true spirit. It's a oh, true yeah. energy. And when you get an opportunity to really, really experience that, I mean, it's life changing, like just yeah. the spirit of Aloha. So not to mention all of these things that we've stacked in to make it an incredible experience. Like, it's just, it's, it's a no brainer. I mean, if you have any little ping in your heart that is telling you to go, do not miss this retreat. Like yeah. it, it's the one. And, and I really, I don't say that in like a trying to get you to come to my retreat. I'm not concerned about filling this retreat. I, Cause like last time it felt like everyone who came was like a healer to someone else there just by being who they were. They didn't yeah. have to do anything. It was just yeah. like, a, a, a beautiful healed man, a woman who hasn't been around healthy masculine mm -hmm. energy being like, wow, or yeah. vice versa, yeah. or, you know, just, it was so incredible to see, like, it just felt like everyone who was there was supposed to be there. So that's, that's how I feel about these retreats. Like these are such an intuitively spiritually guided thing for me. And that's why I love partnering with you guys. Cause I don't know if y'all know, but they're, they're real, real spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> And so like, I just, it's just, it's the whole experience is held in that in alignment and spirit and like, um, tapping in and asking, and it's going to be super cool. It's Are you guys both amazing. coming to this one? 
Well, maybe we'll see. Okay. We'll see. We're hoping. We're hoping maybe. we can okay. sort it out. We'll but we're like fingers crossed. We could both be there. Uh, you know how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They, you guys are running many retreats and probably have Bee Fest around the same time. So I know it's Just like it, we're like, how do we have so many awesome things to do? Oh, <laughs> yeah. we invented it. Yeah, we Guess how we did strong. that, guys? Yeah. We went to retreats and we got up leveled, and then our life got cooler and cooler. <laughs> yep. It's so true. It's like if you just create the space for yourself that's yeah. how the stuff drops in because totally. when you're in, when your head is down and you're just like going like this it's hard to like get opened up enough to totally. see like higher alignment for yourself because you're just in it all day every day I you know like, you know like four retreats a year should be mandatory it's like <laughs> it, it, it's true i mean if you don't take the time to yep. up level with people then you just yep. stay on your same trajectory and something that would have taken you one retreat and one kind of community up level could take you 10 years. I'm not kidding. Like, I'm not kidding. I've seen the things that have happened to people after they come out of one retreat. It's like you were talking about the job, the boyfriend, the this, the that, mm -hmm. like all of a sudden mm -hmm. your frequency changes yep. and the things you were working so hard to like try to pull in just drop in your lap. Yeah. And I'm like, how cool is that? I know. That that's the result of going on yeah. a retreat and taking care of yourself. <laughs> I know. Hey man, we've seen this. We've just seen it happen across so many different genres too. Yeah. You know, not just like spiritual enlightenment, not just with this or that, but like some people with some like super high level tech security, government contract type work, you know, and then they come and they do their thing and they're like, okay. And then like two months later, they have a review or whatever and their and their bosses are like oh my god you're a completely different person you know yeah. this is like you've changed completely your entire department is working better all this stuff and the person's like i don't know i mean i, I, went, I to went on vacation yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for a while yeah and but once you it shows up yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a bizarre thing you know it's whatever it's like whatever you got to do to give yourself permission to to take that break and and really just let it all go you know i mean mm -hmm. we can, Treats are great. And, and honestly, like, you know, we run retreats and we still go on retreats. Like mm. we like you, it's like we drink our own Kool-Aid, you know, not it's, awesome. it's like not yeah. our, we don't go on our own retreats, but like <laughs> yeah. we go on other retreats because we get how important That's it cool. is. And it's just it just makes a difference in your life and your trajectory. Yep. I mean, I went to your guys retreat, you know, I, I know. Like, yep, I want to I want I also want this. I don't want to yes. only be running one I want because I, I know the power of it as well. Or we wouldn't be doing it if we didn't understand right. the power of it. And it's hard to say until you've been through an experience like that. But I know, Adam, what you're talking about is just like, for me, every time I do an experience like this and I'm around a bunch of people who all are on like, like reaching into the higher frequencies and that container is held in love in a higher frequency space. Like it's just like, it's like a frequency tune up. It's like, woo, I'm up here. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. It's like, we always talk about like timelines. It's like, you just jump onto a new timeline and you're like, yeah. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> to, different reality stream now and i i know yeah. that might sound dramatic to some people it's like come on guys like but it's it's not it is it's really it is a possibility if you're open to it and if you come yeah. just with an open heart and an open mind you, it's amazing yep and it helps you see i also think like misalignments become really obvious mm -hmm. in yep. those spaces because you're in yep. this like high frequency high vibe space and you're looking at like different relationships or ways you're spending your time or habits and you're like dude that's not that same yeah. frequency at all so yeah. like whoa like and you can't yeah. really see it completely until you're in a different frequency and then you're like oh okay none of that anymore like not a <laughs> yeah. yeah so so frequently you know our surroundings the, the the people the environment like all of our inputs around us are keeping us in a box you know for lack of a better term and when you go to a retreat, you get to be kind of whoever you want. Like nobody's projecting that box at you. And frequently right. people find it's really easy to step outside of it when nobody's holding them there. And the next thing you know, they're like, whoa, where am I? Like, what is all of this? This is all of these possibilities. Yeah. And, you know, it's all it takes a lot of times is just uh, that little bit of encouragement, that little bit of like, well, man, I just spent four days being this person that nobody at home would have recognized. Mm -hmm. And it was fine. These people all loved me. You know, it was like, it was great. We had this whole Right. Time. So it just, you know, and this is kind of what I was getting at. It's like, 
it's going to be there. The transformation is going to be there. the thing that you need, the insight, the, the ability to see past whatever, you know, current boundary uh, that you may or may not even be aware of, like it's going to show up, you know, if you show up, the, the, the opportunities show up, you know, yep, it's yep. <laughs> so consistent at this point. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it really is. It's yeah. like almost guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And I think it's also, you know, I'll say maybe, I don't know if this is like my Mormon upbringing or what, but like, I feel like, I feel like also because I feel this way. And I think you, I know you guys too, because I've been to one of your retreats now. It's like, we also foster the space where like, everybody matters just as much as everybody else. Everybody gets to be themselves. Everybody is like just nurtured of like, we see you, we get you, you can be imperfect. You can be just real. Like no one's trying to put on a perfect show here. Like, let's just like open up and be real and accept you fully for who you are. And man, that space is healing. Like I, that was what I learned from our last retreat we did in Zion. Like it was a profound eye opening experience for me because I did not know that you could tap into those higher frequencies of love, honestly, without like ayahuasca or something. Like that's where yeah. I was at, like magnetic totally. afterwards. Just like, <laughs> like I was like, wow, that was powerful. And it was just love. Yeah. It was just love, love and high frequency and the energy of the land. And that is an important thing to me. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's why we did Zion. That's why we're going to Maui. You know, in our future retreats will all be in areas in which I have found our like transformational energy coming from the land itself. So. Yeah. That's yeah. what You're a portal hunter. That's what <laughs> yeah, I am a portal hunter. Yes. <laughs> portal hunter. And Maui is an extreme portal. Like you drop in there and something's going to open up, especially yeah. when it's fostered in an environment like we're creating down there, you know? Yeah. So. I mean, just like, like you said, the love, like just when any, whenever you enter a container where the priority of all the people who created it are for you to feel a deeper experience of love, yeah. like, Oh my gosh, like who's right. doing that on planet earth? Yeah. Not as many people as you'd hope. Yeah. yeah. And so it's, it's just like, it's so amazing to be in that experience. You do, mm -hmm. you feel high, like you feel as though mm -hmm. you've done plant medicine or done yeah. something that's, you know, it's like, did they, did they put Molly in my drink? No. I know. High <laughs> on love like... and human connection, you <laughs> yeah. know, with a bunch of people who are all on the same, on the same mission, right? Yes. It's really freaking cool. So it's going to um, be unforgettable. I hope if anybody's listening to this and it's pinging at you, please come. It's going to yes. be so awesome. We are hella dedicated to making this like an unbelievable experience for you guys. So great, grateful for everybody who's already coming. I cannot <laughs> wait to see you guys there. I got a playlist for you guys. I keep meaning to send it to you, Adam and Vanessa. I've already, been, I've got, I've been I can't on playlist wait. For, since we started. So I've been listening to it nonstop. <laughs> and if you, you know, if folks out there are, are conflicted, you know, one of the things we've told people over the years, like if you have obstacles or things that just seem like, I don't know if they're going to be surmountable things to get out of the way in order to get there just start with a yes i'm gonna yeah. be there like just project the yes like i'm gonna be there and watch the obstacles move out of your way it's over so the years we've told people to do this literally plans they had get canceled someone asks if they can move something like it's incredible yeah. if you just say i'm gonna be there watch the watch the universe conspire to make that happen it's so true and it, yeah. it really like is eye-opening when you realize when you have that experience of like, oh shit, maybe I can do this again. Yeah. <laughs> what else, else do I listen to? Yes to? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank oh, you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you everybody who tuned in. So excited! Please so check excited. out the retreat. Just go to my website and click on the retreat one. Um, and hope to see you guys in Maui in May. All right, much love, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>